السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is Faraz Rabani and I wanted to just share something that we rarely notice about the way the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم dealt with people and this key reality is that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in dealing with people he did not simply listen to what people were saying nor did he merely respond to what people were doing but rather the Prophet ﷺ heard as it were what people were expressing through their words and actions the Prophet ﷺ, when someone did something or said something he didn't just react to what they were saying but rather what was it that concerned them so for example if someone came to the Prophet ﷺ and was hard, was rude, like many of the Bedouins who came to the Prophet ﷺ and addressed him in brusque ways, the Prophet ﷺ did not respond to their words as much as he responded to how they felt. Because his concern ﷺ was how to make relationships good and how to himself seek the pleasure of Allah and how to assist others to direct themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why is this important in our own lives? It's important because in our relationships very often people respond in ways that appear to be unreasonable and you feel as if you can't really do anything about it. For example, if your parents say, Beta, I want you to go to med school. Now, you would rather turn into a chimpanzee, then go to med school. If you try to respond to what your parents are saying, there'll just be a long and protracted argument between you and your parents. And it won't go anywhere. It'll be, you know, they'll say, no, you have to. You say, no, I don't, because of this and because of that. And the reality of the situation is that for, for your parents, you're still a kid, even when you hit 20. And it won't get anywhere. So instead, instead of merely listening to what your parents are saying, if you listen to what they're expressing, then you can get somewhere in your dealings with them. You'll be able to maintain your respect of your parents, and you'll be able to also pursue the, inter the interest that you perceive is to your advantage after duly considering what your parents have to say. So if your parents say that, Beta, I want you to go to med school. This is what they're saying, what they're expressing underneath is something more basic, which is that they want you to be successful. They want to be proud of you. They want you to be secure in life. They want you not to, to worry about your living and where your next, sal your, your next check is going to come from. So if you can address those concerns, if you can allay those fears and misgivings, you'll be able to deal with your parents in an appropriate way. Similarly, with your wife. Let's say you forgot that it was your wife's anniversary. If, let's say you, you forgot it was your anniversary and that you'd promised your wife that you'd be home at 9 p.m. and would take her out for dinner. Instead, after the masjid, you went and had coffee with your friend Rehan, and then you went to a Malaysian restaurant and had a whole bunch of interesting dishes and then you tried out your Malaysian coconut chocolate drink and you liked it so much that you had seven of them and then around midnight you got back home and once you parked the car you realized that you didn't have your house keys so you go to the door and your wife's already standing at the door and she's rapping away at, with insults at you. And she's got the frying pan in, a, in one hand and the, and the rolling pin, the bilan in the other. And she's mad at you. She's telling you all kinds of curses and insults. If you try here to respond to what your wife is saying, your relationship is going to get ugly very fast and this is going to leave lasting damage in your marriage. But instead, if you respond to what your wife is expressing through her harsh words, you'll be able to at least make things less bad. 
you may even be able to make good of a bad situation. Because when your wife is mad at you that you came home late, when she's upset that you weren't there, she's expressing that she cares about you, that she missed you, that she loves you, she wanted to be with you. So if you can deal with these concerns, and you can apologize, and you can express that you too care about her, and that you too wanted to be with her, but you made a mistake, and then you appeal to her care about you, then you'll be able to make things better. And this is a lesson that we have to learn, that we have to listen to the hearts of people, because relationships are not based on reasoning, and discussion, and intellectual discourse, or back and forth, that you said this, what did you mean by what you said, and so on. Relationships are based on the heart. They're based on love and mercy and concern and care. And you have to acquire the ability to hear what people are expressing when they say what they say and when they do what they do. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the prophetic character, the prophetic concern, so that we act with people in the way pleasing to Allah and we respond to the way they act with us and the way they speak to us, not according to how we feel, but rather in accordance with what would be pleasing to Allah, in, in ways that would bring us together with other people, in ways that would direct us and them towards the pursuit of the pleasure of Allah. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفره إنه غفور رحيم وجزاكم الله تعالى خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله